Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Habuk. In this video, I'm going to talk about the brushes that I'm using as you guys requested and then uh, thumbnail sketching and benefits of that and finally painting which is gonna be a time lapse of today's character. Brushes. I'm mostly using Jing Sketch brushes that I have added a link to it in the description below. Of course, as you can see, I'm using only a few of them. I have been trying to limit myself for now. Flat painting stream is one of my favorite ones. I just love it, not only for sketching but also for painting. Here are a few sketches that I have done using only this brush. Let me show you how do I use this. I set the brush scale to something medium and then uh, I start putting some random lines on the canvas. At this stage, I don't really know what I want. I'm thinking maybe these random lines could give me any idea. Usually the result is something quite rough. It's actually more or less just the feeling of a character. Then I duplicate it, reduce its opacity and draw over it again with the same brush, but this time smaller size. Basically, I'm going over the rough sketch again to improve it and give it more direction, whether it's a human or an orc or a robot. At this stage, you should kind of decide and don't worry if it didn't work. Just try something else. It's really fun. As you can see, I have duplicated that rough sketch and I'm drawing over it again. As I'm progressing, I'm thinking more about the character that is being created. You know, this way of sketching is really helpful when you don't have any idea to start. Or suppose your client has asked you to design an orc character. You can simply come up with a lot of body or silhouette variations in just an hour. Then he will choose one of them and you can start improving it. Just like what I'm doing on this character right now. And uh, here are the rest of the brushes that I'm using, which are more or less the same, uh, with just a little bit of difference. For example, dynamic brush is the same as a square brush. I have just added a little bit of color dynamics effect to it to have more color variation. You can apply this effect on any brush in Procreate, which is really cool. Just open your brush setting and click on color dynamics and then play with these parameters to see the result. I also use a smooth brush for creating smooth forms and shadows. And by the way, any of these brushes can also be used as a smudge brush. You know guys, there are so many brushes made for Procreate, which is great, but I decided to limit myself to only few basic brushes for now. And the reason for that is to focus on color, light, and shadow principle rather than brush effects. I think I can learn better this way. Thumbnail sketching. So what is it and why do we need to do that? Thumbnail sketching is basically a small rough sketch or drawing of an idea. A quick way to explore and prototype the image that uh, you might have in your mind. When it comes to character design, it could be the proportion, body shape, gesture, or even the elements that you want to add to your character. It's really cool. You should try it. For this character, for example, I had an image of a strong, friendly big guy who is carrying a lot of things including his family on his back maybe a good big brother next I started to clean up and improve it a bit more I decided to add fruits on the big basket 
Maybe he's going to sell those fruits in the nearest town. We don't know. At this stage, I was uh, kind of ready to start painting. So I started by adding local colors as usual and also decided to add some leaves between those fruits. I thought maybe it's nicer that way. I was uh, thinking maybe he could be a farmer that uh, can't leave his little brother and sister alone. He has to carry them with the fruits everywhere. And that kid who has stuck in the basket between the fruits, he's the unluckiest one. He couldn't find a better place to be. Ah, poor guy. By the way, I used that famous sumo wrestler as reference for the body forms. His name is Asashorio Akinori. And you know guys, he's 148 kilograms, exactly double my weight. Here I thought maybe it would be fun to add a snake between those fruits. But don't worry, he's not dangerous. He just wanna travel with these people and see the town, you know. Here I started to add the shadows and the light source. I'm simply painting shadows and then mix them with the smudge brush, that's it. And you know guys, uh, I always use color balance to make the whole image a bit more vibrant. So when I'm done with the painting, I just play with the color balance a little bit to see if I can get a better result in terms of uh, color composition. So it's really, it's really nice if you try that as well. I think we are almost done with this character. So I just want to thank you guys for your support and for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to subscribe and I see you in the next video.